Hello, hello, welcome in my wishes. It is a po knitting podcast, uh, Knitting in my wishes. My name is Anna and I'm very happy to have you here on my little spot in the internet. I'm very uh, thankful to all of you who joined me already uh, in the first two episodes, who is watching for the first time. Welcome. I will tell you a little bit about me, myself, my knitting and about my wishes itself. Um, I would like to say words to my Polish community watching me. Dziękuję serdecznie, że znaleźli Państwo czas na bycie ze mną, na posłuchanie tego i pooglądanie tego, co mam do przedstawienia. Bardzo, bardzo się cieszę. Dziękuję za wszystkie komentarze i e, życzę miłego oglądania. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for encouragement words. So beautiful comments. Um, by Instagram, a uh, lot of people contacted me on Instagram, uh, congratulated and yes, I'm learning. Everybody is learning. I'm learning. It's the, it's the third podcast. I would like to be more relaxed, but let's see how it will be, how it will come out. Um, so I'm living in Mauritius since 24 years. Uh, Mauritius is called a paradise uh, island. Uh, we are next to Madagascar, we are belonging to Africa and um, we are 60 by 40 kilometers, a small country with about 1 million 100,000 uh, people living here. Um, I'm having today a little drink, I have a lipstick on it, I have a little drink on my cup, it's a coffee. I love this cup very much. I got it from my mom a long, long time ago. It's still with me and I will really love it to enjoy my uh, drink in, in it. Um, so I would like to uh, say again, thank you for subscribing my channel. Thank you very much for uh, like my Instagram, Anna, Anna Medu with a smile. And Thank you very much for many, many of you who uh, sent me messages and who bought my uh, pattern on Ravelry, my uh, beach and shells pullover. I will just show you again. So this is my beach and shells. I would like to say thank you to everyone who purchased it. The half price is uh, until until the 15th of July. Um, on Ravelry and you can buy the pattern there. Um, <laughs> my notes are fall down, so now I will not know what to say. <laughs> so I would like to say uh, again, thank you for many, con many comments on uh, Instagram and Facebook on my knitting groups about my beautiful shawl, which I just finished. So it is the Uland, Uland shawl from uh oh i i was thinking i will not see anything on this paper now uland shawl it is from trollenwall from holland i got a kit on online shop from them and uh it is this this is the result of my work so this is all the steps you can see here the beautiful fish border and i love it i love it i love it i love it so much it's a huge shawl it's a huge shawl which you really will enjoy for many many years you can wrap yourself in so it is made out of uh, wool from um, the shop there from turnable it's ules ule centrum uh, wool it's a sheep wool and it's designed from maya uh, uh, maya there uh, it is made uh, with a two-play yarn and uh, the wool is uh, very warm. It's a sheep wool, it's a uh, not European uh, wool, it's from Holland and it's really um, warm, uh, water protective and uh, wind protective. I think it's a forever piece, forever piece. I, I really love it. I will show you some of the wools from them. With the ah, one of them still have Ule Centrum, one of them have still the Banderol. As you see, I love this wool so much. So I didn't use this one, it was in a kit, 
but I used, um, yeah, from the blue, I used nearly everything. Uh, nearly everything, so it, this is what is left. But there is few, few colors, few, few yarns, which still is a bit, bit, bit left. So this is all from the, from the uh, leftovers from the kit, which I received. I love it. The smell of it when you work on, on this yarn, it's just amazing. Uh, I, <laughs> I couldn't wait until it was done. So I was really rushing. I was really rushing. I think I took four weeks to do in between. I was doing another jobs like this uh, beach and shells uh, pullover and pullover for my son, pullover for my husband. So I, I rush, I rush. I must say thank you to this uh, lockdown time and being a lot at home and uh, homeschooling, uh, online schooling, um, I have more time to knit and uh, really I spend a lot of time with my needles and my uh, new ideas and with my new project. So this is the yarn which I got from them and I really love it. Um, <laughs> in the process of this uh, pro producing, making this uh, shawl, I went on the website again of Troll and Vol and I found out that on the English uh, site they don't have, but on the uh, site where the local people can buy, uh, there was another pattern, which I really love it, but it's only in uh, Netherlandish. So this is the Korenwelt Sial Shal, Korenwelt Shal. It's looking like this. So big flowers, irregular uh, um, shapes. Um, I love it. I I already see what I see here. I see the border is on the, in a color, but definitely I will need the border with some flowers again. So not on the color blue color or something, but I will put some flowers in. This is my my idea. But I love the the. The idea of the big flowers, irregular colors, it's um, irregular shapes. Um, yes, I think it will be my my uh, favorite shawl. Let's see. So let's see this one. It's it's all in uh, Netherlandish, in Hollandish, but um, I will definitely be able to understand. I mean, this is just uh, following the. Uh, pattern it's I think it's easy so um it came in a fantastic bag project bag so it came the the kit came in this bag it which I'm amazed I must say I was so surprised because the first one came just by uh, one by one and inside in the bag you have all this was there is no banderole so I believe that it's just uh, the measured uh, the amounts that you need some smaller ball and so it's a uh, yeah from smaller to bigger I think 25 50 maybe 100 grams and then you have the big balls also inside so where you will uh, use it for main colors most probably the green it's just oh look at these colors um yeah the smell just I don't know it's I love it it's Ah, this mustardy color. Oh, I will start soon. I will start soon with this uh, project and definitely I will have two beautiful shawls um, from uh, this website and from this uh, beautiful wool of Uland. No, not on Uland, uh, Ule Centrum, from Ule Centrum and um yeah that's the ule syndrome i placed a quite big order for my own uh designs um i'm waiting i think on tuesday the courier will be here and we deliver so i will make a short movie with the uh unpacking my yarns i will show you all the colors and all the so i i ordered like a big uh skins and i ordered the 25 gram skins for the color works I'm having idea to make something really, really uh, special. I hope it will work. Something which is connected to my country. 
and uh, design uh, wise and um, shape wise something completely different also so um it's in my brain it's my in in my uh, active <laughs> really active brain i even dream about <laughs> new thing and about um designing new products so it take taking it's taking a lot of my uh, brain energy out so the puzzle is coming um next week i think on tuesday it's already here in mauritius but the customs taking uh, quite long to clear all the um passes right now with the covid situation uh yeah and that's why passion with passion we will have it and anyway uh you think in a, it's in a s slow art so let's see my yarn is coming slowly my knitting start coming slowly but then maybe will come something beautiful out of it so this is my beautiful second shawl current belt shawl and it is just amazing just i will i will I will work on this very quickly, I know, but first I think I need to finish some some works. You can have it on Etsy, it's written also. And um but I would suggest you go to the website and you get the the pattern the pattern and the kit together for both of the shells. So troll and vol. I love them. And they very communicative. I mean, when you write to them, immediately you having answer. And um, yeah, they're very nice. So again, thank you very much to Tronvold. Thank you very much to this uh, beautiful yarn wool, which I could use it. I love, I love, I love these patterns, and definitely it's a it's a my one of my favorite shells right now. Um. I'm thinking to need maybe one for my mom, but uh, yeah, it's taking time, everything. So my mom maybe will get something more easy <laughs> for the moment. Yes. What I was telling you last time. Last time I was telling you that I bought yarns from um, Tribe Yarns in England. And I was having three different um, colors from the road to China, from the road to China light um, skins. And um, <laughs> I was telling you that my I will need something as a surprise to my husband and to my two boys that they will have a beautiful three the same pullovers, all in different colors. I bought... Um, the dark blue which is the the blue tourmaline that one for my husband i got 10 skins and supposed to be enough for him and um yeah it will be normally but as my husband um saw me working on this uh wool starting my work passing by and he said oh what do you do now? And I said, I have to say, I'm making a pullover for you. And he said he doesn't like the color. So as he doesn't like the color, I, I was a bit unhappy, but okay, what to do? Better to give him something what he would like in a color. What I did, I designed quickly and used the uh, started pullover, before frogging, I didn't want to frog it. Um, <laughs> I started uh, to make a design. Yes, so my husband didn't like the color. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed. But I, as I'm very creative, I think, I just decided to do something out of it for me. Instead of frogging this... Uh, started york already i decided to add to this pattern to this very easy pattern actually uh, from um pascali navy pullover I'm, I'm knitting a navy pullover from pascali to this very very easy and very um 
mine is, I would say, design, I uh, decided to do something for me. Of course, my husband and I have different size uh, than me, but the the opening is quite big. But um, what I would do, I would just use it for me. So it will be a bit, a uh, lot open on the next side, the side, but it will be good for me. So what I did, what I did, I quickly designed some diamonds and I uh, combined this uh, beautiful road to China with some trava and with some artisan yarn, you can see here. So it's a bit shiny. So it, I, I'm just finishing this diamonds now and then it would be easy splitting for the arms and it would be easy pullover for me. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan for reglan. I I prefer the drop uh, shoulders in the pullovers, but uh, yes, I will keep it. I will keep it. I will just do it. I didn't want to frog and frog and I didn't want to just lose my time. And it's pullover, it's pullover, and beautiful yarn is beautiful yarn. So the um, it will be pullover made out of this uh, road to China light from the fiber uh, company, blue in to blue tourmaline, and then I'm using also this uh, yellow color from um, Trava and Wool. Trava and Wool in color. There is no color, there is some yellow color. It's hand dyed uh, yarn, it's silk, 70% uh, non-superwash alpaca, 20% silk and 10% cashmere. I love this yarn very much. When you wash it, the color is going off because it's hand dyed and it's really uh, fragile. So uh, you have to wash it by uh, hand wash, you have to flat dry and yeah, it will change the color permanently after each wash. So this is beautiful and I'm using, yes, I'm using this Trava and I'm using this, this um, Road to China Light in blue turquoise. I also used the um, Artisan Yarn with some paillettes. Um, I don't have the color way for this, but it is from Artisan Yarns, Art Yarns, uh, Beaded Silk and Sequence light, so it's a light silk, and you can get it online. I got it online. Um, yeah, so this is my story about my husband's pullover birthday gift. I don't know what I will give him. I think I have to go to shop and just buy something, just get something for him. It's a few more days to go. Um, the another cardigan is still on on process, but I put it on side bit because not but because he doesn't like he saw it and he like it but uh but i'm busy with my another project like let's say this shawl and then i'm doing now the pullover for my son yes so i i really uh i think it's better i concentrate on something that will make me happy <laughs> the little happy yeah so the second color from uh the fiber company which i got I showed you last time, which I bought by from Tripians uh, from England, is Larimar, and uh, is again the the road to China Larimar, and this is the the beautiful blue color. So I used this one. I got uh, five balls for my one son, and five skins, and I used four for my pull of for my son's pullover. So is this 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 is the same Reglan pullover I wanted to to knit for my husband, but uh, it is uh, I needed to count down the sizes. They don't have a kid sizes there in this pattern. It's only men sizes, but I counted and I uh, improvised and I made a pullover for my son for my ten years old son. So this is the Reglan. Reglan pullover for my son. Okay, just very easy. What I did, I uh, changed here needle sizes just to 
have different uh, um, thickness of the arm cuff. So it's very basic pullover, but we made with a fantastic wool. So this um, uh, this road to China it is made out of. 65% uh, alpaca, 15% silk, 10% um, camel, and 10% cashmere. It is uh, 145 meters, 159 yards. So I used only four for my 10 years old uh, child. It, he is very happy. I just took it from him for a second. So um, this is. Um, what is the pattern? See the pattern now okay the pattern should be somewhere but i don't see now yes it is navy the uh, the pullover navy from uh pasquale i will put downstairs or on the on here on the window i will put the information about the pullover the pattern because on instagram a lot of people ask me about the name it is so easy to knit it's so um you changing needle size only after making the neckline and it is fantastic just to knit. It is so, so easy, so fantastic. Um, yeah, so one more time, I will show you this Uland. So Uland, it's from Trollenball, Holland, and enjoy the knitting. Um, I was also um, buying some yarn online. I'm trying to make this podcast shorter that you enjoy quickly my uh, needs and uh, not too long because you have most of you you have holidays now and most of you you have uh, summertime so I don't think you will you are interested about watching people podcasting when you can go out and enjoy your time outside in the fresh air. So um, I was also purchasing some yarn a part of the shawl which I just showed you. Uh, I purchased two another artisan yarns, uh, which is the yellow and blue with gold by it and beads, and which is the light brown beige with gold by it also. It is not really um, cheap product. It is only hundred meters. It is only 100 meters of silk with the paillettes. It's again from this artisan yarn, art yarns. Um, it's only 100 meters, 110 yards, but you're using uh, the suggested needle size is uh, US 6, uh, 5 uh, millimeters. No, it is US 6. Uh, I must say, I love it very much. I would like to have summer pullover made out of, let's say this, whole summer top. Maybe, maybe, but it is not a cheap investment. <laughs> it is investment, I would say. Okay. Um, my husband is having a company here in Mauritius and we are reproducing clasps. We're producing jewelry clasps, all kind of clasps like this. Or oh, many other ones. Something like this. So opening here. Oh, clasp like this. That's the big sizes. So what I I did, I have four of them and I uh, did, uh, oh, I have also one like this. It's me here. So what I did, I did uh, stitch markers for me. <laughs> it's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy, but I loved it. Here I used the stones. Here I used some... Um, glass beads with silver so there is a silver glass bit i connected all with my yarns so yarn uh, glass and a silver 
clasp. Here I have some another beads which I got here in the shop with a lot of beads. And um, here I used here I used turquoise. Okay, so that's my four stitch markers which I just made it for myself. Ah. Uh, made out of silver, made out of beautiful stones and with laugh and with smile, as I told you, I try to smile, I try to be positive, even though that we now having in our factory two uh, COVID cases and since three days my family we are self-quarantining in the house so we miss a few parties, happy birthday Lota! Um, and we miss some going out. From the 1st of July, we have again opened a restaurant and we can go out. And from the 1st of July, we have COVID cases in the company. So what to do? We have been having uh, plans to go out to our friend's uh, Italian restaurant. We couldn't go. I mean, we couldn't. We could go, but our own decision is to self-quarantine for the moment. We are fine here, my family is okay, most of the workers, most of the people working in our company are also okay, uh, just only the two cases, but we're still waiting for the government to make some decisions and we see what will go on, how it will be. So we're self-quarantining until the te results of the uh, COVID test and just in case we don't want to spread it around. And... Uh, Yes, we missed some parties, but what? For that, I record now, and for that, I finish some beautiful things at home, and I cook, and I bake, and I bake a rainbow cake with my kids. Yes, we have to keep busy, and we have to keep uh, happy also. I would like to also show you what I have here. What I because ah, by the way, I moved. I moved from, uh, I mean, I moved, I moved my yarns and my uh, uh, project uh, boxes and stuff. I moved to, excuse me, I moved to another room. My yarn was in a, uh, my son's room, my biggest son's uh, room. And finally he said, it, it is a bit too much. Mommy, maybe you can move. So I moved to another room, which is a bit more far from my bedroom. So that means I have to walk upstairs. <laughs> I have to walk, walk stairs up and down, which is good for my legs and for my body. Um, yeah, but it's quite uh, different. So it is only like now four days that I moved to another space. I I did it beautifully. It is all decorated. It is all uh, beautifully here everywhere, lying around. Um, but I need lights. I need lights. I, I realize I have a vision problem. <laughs> I think I can't, I can't stand darkness. So I don't see my yarn well. I still need two lamps here around and then will be bright, beautiful studio where I have everything now in, a, in one place. I have my knitting, my sewing machine. I have my um, so, uh, sewing products. My, here are the sewing, the, the knitting are there. Here is all about my markets because sometimes I'm taking part in a, a hand, handicraft markets here in Mauritius. Um, yeah, so there are some... I put it also a, a machine to uh, take out the humidity out of the because in Mauritius we have very humid uh, air and a lot of products are shoes, jacket, a lot of pullovers are getting uh, wasted with the just air and with the climate here. So here is the the humifier, the U uh, machine to take out the air of the from the air <laughs> in the room and it will be nice and dry and beautiful because i have so much yarns so much talk so much storage so much stock that really i need to keep it safe so what i did 
few months ago, I I told you I was uh, before I started the uh, knitting, I was sewing some easy projects. So I was cleaning. I think on the beginning of the first lockdown, I was cleaning up the house and the boxes, the cupboards. What is too small? What is too big? What is uh, not good anymore to wear? So my clothes, my shoes, and another things and i got a big big pile of uh, clothes which i will never wear again or i just decided i will never wear again but they were beautiful dresses and tops and so i will show you what i did with one of this with one of these dresses i cut it and i made it a uh, beautiful two cushions so this was a dress of mine it is silk and I don't know I just decided I will not wear it but now as I see the cushions I, I'm just thinking oh my goodness the dress was so beautiful and I love yellow it was beautiful dress beautiful beautiful dress but yeah imagine this but one day I will do it something similar or I will get it something similar so my silk cushion is now with me here also in my atelier I have now beautiful atelier and I I'm quite happy still not not in this um, um, creative mood here yeah, because still it's like I don't know where is what today for example this 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 bag I was searching for it I don't know why how long why because it was li just lying in front of my eyes and I didn't see but okay what to do I will get used to I will get used to, to the space I will get used to to the uh, lightning here I mean I will get the two lamps again and I will make it even more beautiful and beautiful smell and beautiful look and this and it will be fantastic place here especially that I don't need to move anything anymore somewhere my recording place is here my sewing is here my knitting is there everything is in the right place just to work <laughs> just to work Yes, so I would like to say again, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for following. Thank you very much for spending time with me. Thank you for listening to me. And um, thank you for purchasing my pattern. And thank you for down the another, uh, I mean, my pattern uh, beaten shares. And thank you very much for downloading my pattern, the exotic uh, mix kaftan. I got so many downloads. I'm so impressed. I'm so so happy. Um, I'm really I'm really proud of myself. I must say, and I thank you very very much. Everybody who just is supporting in any words, in subscribing, in commenting, thank you very 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 much. I would like to know how you um, feel now on your holidays. Please, can you write to me? on Instagram or here down below how you feel on your holidays if you have holidays or enjoying your holidays uh, when you are in uh, let's say Europe or America um, I'm sure you got beautiful time and beautiful weather there so I'm sure you can go out as I know a lot of countries are opening so you can just uh, enjoy the time please 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 comment put in the comments how you feel and I will be very very happy um, today I would like to tell you about my fruits from my garden as Mauritius people say it's a paradise country on the end of this movie I will send you some pictures some movies from which I just did last week just on the morning of the opening day so 1st of July, uh, the government opened our country for, we can now walk on the beach, we can uh, make spot on the beach, we c finally, we can just uh, spend some time outside, get some vitamin D, um, especially now is beautiful time because it's not so hot, so you can enjoy the time on the beach walking and, and jogging and um, uh, you cannot crowd yourself in a big groups. But now we can even, I think, meet up to 50 people. So some, I think, restaurants opening and uh, some places will definitely plan the weddings and meetings and big parties and because people are hungry 
for meeting another people and friends and the hungry to see people hungry to be around uh, another humans and exchange the um, life experiences so i would like to tell you about uh, my own notes are flying around here because i have open windows i would like to tell you about our uh plants uh, our uh, fruits which i'm having in my garden actually so this is my plate which i just brought from the kitchen so this is it some banana and some grapefruit so this is this is the special bananas from Mauritius. My bananas from my garden. That's bananzinzli, zinzli, Mauritian bananas. Um, and they, we're having three types of bananas here. This banan zinzli, then, uh, then we have the red banana, banana rouge. Also small bananas, but they're very red around inside the bit like a creamy lax color the same taste than bananas but sweet sweet and but they a bit more harder they a bit more hard a bit more even when they are very ripe they're not really that soft than the long bananas and um then we just now in my garden is growing the pamplemus pamplemus it's a type of grapefruit they are having a bit strange skin here maybe because they are not spray sprayed with any pesticides i don't know but as you see here they're more green but outside they they're having fantastic taste i will show you the one which i cut it through so this is my pamplemousse and when i cut it through it's looking like this a lot of seeds but a fantastic smell Mm, super fantastic smell very healthy are uh, growing and because of growing also on my trees so i'm enjoying the juice every morning so this is what i wanted to show you on the end of the movie you will see a beautiful pictures from Mauritius and the movies which i did it on the first of july just before people went out <laughs> for jogging and just to spend some time on the beach um so it's empty, it's empty completely, it's empty the beach, it's empty the parkings, it's empty everything, but you can see how beautiful it is. I love this country, it's beautiful. It's amazing, it's giving me so much energy, especially in the now uh, winter time, where it's really, really not that hot. I mean, now I'm enjoying the, I have open windows here, I have uh, a draft, so it's okay. And I'm enjoying my uh, shawl and my jeans right now but it, most of the time in the year i cannot wear any long long pants or long sleeves it's really 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 much too hot a new meat and heavy to to breathe but right now the country is so beautiful the air is so beautiful and um yeah it i'm enjoying the time right now in the morning you open the windows and it's such a fresh air and um like it is a little bit like the European summer. <laughs> it's it's like European summer, yes, in the mornings and in the evening. In the day, you can still when you will go out, you can still um and spend two three hours outside in the uh, fresh air. I'm sure you will still burn your skin with the sun. But uh, I'm not doing this. I'm trying to keeping away from the sun as much as possible and. Uh, my kids too so only when they go to school when they have a break and when they really go outside with some friends onto the pool they enjoying the time but most of the time also we putting a lot of sun, sun protection on our bodies so i would like to say hello to karen from a uh, young tele young tail <laughs> she was when i was knitting this shawl I was thinking about her. She is a podcaster. She is having this um, beautiful voice and beautiful charisma on on her uh, podcast. 
I was watching her and when I, after watching her I just got so much good idea because with this shawl when I was working on this shawl with this shawl on this shawl on the beginning you're starting from the bottom here from the bottom and on the beginning I was really trying and desperately trying to be good and to uh, catch the threads I didn't manage <laughs> I didn't manage I think it, it was a bit too difficult to me so I it is hard work to make this stranded, uh, stranded uh, knitting so what I did I just let it be so I let it long so my shawl people on Instagram ask me how is looking the back side the wrong side from the shawl I said it's a secret <laughs> it's a secret because I just think it's a uh, yeah we're not showing much what is behind the picture I mean on each picture we're smiling everywhere we're smiling but um, sometimes we see uh, we have hard lives but when there is a picture and everybody is saying smile then you smile so so is my pullover it's smiling from the front from the right side it's not smiling so much from the back but to me it's good so Karen in her um, podcast she was knitting some pullover I think she was doing three times uh, 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 she was uh, restarting the pullover three times because she was working on some color work and they um, one yarn supposed to not show but it was showing very much so uh, and she was thinking and thinking what to do she changed needle size she changed the way of knitting she um, so she did all the work and then finally she decided she will not catch the threads and after she didn't cut the threads the color was coming so nicely she said nobody will see it is my pullover and it is my cuffs and my pullover so nobody will see how it is looking the work from the back side from the wrong side it is true so what I was laughing so much because I was just working on this shawl when she uh, um, said uh, sent the uh, podcast out and I just was listening to her and I say yes nobody is perfect so my shawl from the back side looks like this not too bad for those who ask not too bad but also not fantastic but there is none of only this one but there is none of the threads really loose and my shawl is just good and just right for me it is a piece of art in my opinion it is slow work and it is for me for me for me for me so i'm very happy and i'm just wrapping myself in it all the time so hello karen thank you very much <laughs> a yarn of tales uh no a yarn tail podcast give me the idea thank you thank you thank you so much i really greet you from far away and i really enjoy watching you in your podcast before I was talking about this pullover uh, maven, so I would just show you, I would just show you the um, the picture pullover navin here. So this is the one which I'm knitted for my son. I wanted to knit for my husband. I'm not doing so. I'm in this part right now for me to. I'm with the yoke, so it, I will split the arms. It, I'm planning to make here very loose. I like loose pullovers, so. I'm here right now with my uh, design with my diamonds and uh, I will go a bit lower even and it will be loose pullover so I will definitely change the pullover shape it will be again only for me so enjoy the footage now and thank you again for um, subscribing thank you very, very much for being my friend on this uh, journey Thank you very much for comments. Thank you very much for spending time with me, for downloading my um, the exotic kaftan on Ravelry and for purchasing my uh, beach and shells pullover. I'm greeting everybody from Mauritius, from the island, Paradise Island. Peace.
now is my more paradise because we can go out and it's not too hot <laughs> i'm greeting everyone i'm greeting uh, everybody around the world i'm saying bye i'm saying do widzenia do zobaczenia do moich uh, przyjaciół z polski czy polsko uh, języcznych uh, dziękuję bardzo za wspomaganie mnie w tym, w tym podcaście. Dziękuję bardzo za komentarze. Bardzo się cieszę, że jesteśmy wszyscy razem. Może kiedyś się spotkamy. So, hope to see you all soon somehow. Maybe one day you will come to my wishes. Take care, enjoy your day and smile. Smile, looking at my footage. Smile knit while you're knitting. Smile because we live Now, enjoy, bye.